Alright folks, welcome back to the Gen X Gamer. I am Karak Alvaron and today we are back in Valheim with yet another seed discovery video. This is another unique seed. Uh, this seed has four maypoles on the starter continent and it's actually a fairly small continent. Uh, I think this seed is going to be great for a co-op play if you've got a group of friends. Um, it's very, very rare to find a maypole on a seed. It's rare to find a, two of them. But four of them? It's extremely rare, and I've been very fortunate the last couple of weeks to have been uh, tipped off on a couple of seeds that have four maypoles. I've done a lot of seed discovery videos, and to find four maypoles is 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 just, uh, that's a unique seed. The only thing that's rarer, I think, than that, obviously would be five. I've never seen that. But when you see those towns or those little villages that have two maypoles in them, that's extremely rare. Anyways, before I get going, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. I really appreciate it. Please remember to like, subscribe, share. All that stuff really helps the channel out, and I appreciate the support. So, is Maypole number one. Um, you know, not a horrible location. Not too bad. You're right by a uh, an altar right here. This That's open ocean over there. Um, nice little village right here. Got a... Uh, permanent stone here. I'm not sure which one this is. I don't think it's the... Yeah, it's definitely not a boar stone. So, um, that's maypole number one. Let's go check out the other ones. And we are going to look at all four of them. Um, honestly, none of them are super fantastic, like right on the water, etc. Which is, you know, a big part of the criteria I use to evaluate a maypole. However, because there's four of them and it's spread out, this seed is going to be really exceptional for uh, a modded playthrough, a group server playthrough. If you're just playing with a couple of buddies, uh, you know, it's really good. I mean, there's a nice five stone portal hub right on a right underneath a little mountain. Um, pretty cool. This little island has is 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 pretty neat, and we we will like take a look at the sea discovery map in a minute. But we're gonna go toward the maypole. So here's maypole number two. Um, again, in the middle of land, you you do have a little ocean over here, though. I mean, you can see it right through the trees there. But you know, um, in and of itself, this maypole with the other maypole wouldn't be notable, but because there's four of them, um, that makes this seed pretty incredible. And the good news is, is, is the starting continent is an island. So, it, well, they're all islands to some degree, but it, it's not huge. So you, you're going to get pretty close access to um, the ocean wherever you are on this island, on this, on the starter seed. So I think that's pretty solid. Um, I did get this from Reddit. Someone else discovered this, not me. So, again, you know, I was tipped off that there was a seed out there with four maypoles. And I should probably check it out because I do a lot of seed discovery videos for maypoles. So, we're coming up on the third maypole. And this one is unique as well. This one, you've got some wood resources. There's a maypole. There it is, over here. You've got plenty of boars running around. You've got a nice deer stand. But this one, it seems like it would be a good farming area. I mean, you've got plenty of raspberry bushes, plenty of tiers, right? So I, I call these the tiers that they have. These are the predetermined plots. This one has a lot of, ras of raspberry bushes. I think this one would be a place where I'd set up a farm. Probably build a little hut right here for comfort station. Um, this one's pretty cool i like all those raspberries and i would use those as garden plots and you got wood resources right there to boot and a deer stand yeah definitely um let's check out the fourth and final one now this one is unique because it's right by the dark forest which by the way you've got some copper resources right here so that's pretty nice um and here is here is this one 
Now this one I think would be um, probably where I would build a decent little fortification. There's your maypole, it, which is half and half. You can see the line is right there. This is dark forest over here, a black forest, whatever. Um, here's your hunting stand. Now, the cool thing is, is here's a copper deposit right here. So you've got four, I wouldn't say mediocre uh, maypole locations. I mean, this one's pretty solid. It's right by the dark, the black forest. You've got a copper resource. The other one we just visited had um, a fantastic farming uh, layout, in my opinion. Um, the other two before it, one, you know, they were decent. But four maypoles. Anyways, let's check out the map. So, we're at this maypole right here. Okay. Um, here are the other maypoles. There's four. And here is your, your starting spawn. Again, like I said, it's not a huge uh, continent. Um, and you've got plenty of resources here. You've got a mountain and you've got... Um, you know, Black Forest. Now, the good news is going to be we, we get a little bit more on this island that makes it just a little bit more unique. Let's take a look at the bosses. And there's an elder. That's pretty cool. So we basically got our first two biomes and starting bosses right here. We're good to go. That's fantastic. Now, if we pan out a little bit more, the other pretty cool thing about this particular seed is, is you've got clumps of bosses. You've got a bone mass and Yagloth here. You've got a big clump right over here. Okay, you've got motor, Yagloth, and the queen. Okay, the issue is, is you don't really have any plains over here. I mean, um, meadows over here to base up. But um, I'm thinking the play here is to the north. You grab this bone mass, and then maybe you sail up over here. This motor, though, is surrounded by mist, so that's not fantastic. But you've got a motor here another bone mass here if you want um the bosses are okay the queen it looks like the north or the northeast is the play though because that's where the queen is most centrally located in relation to the other um boss spawns so you know the south isn't a horrible play you've got three queens down here but you don't have much else so i think the north northeast is going to be the play anyways where's the traitor this is another good thing about the seed is, is you've got the elder here, but right next to this bone mass location, you've got a trader. That's pretty solid. Now, what we want to see is ideally a troll cave right near it. We don't have that. But what I'm thinking here is, is you're going to finish the elder. You've got your boat. You've got pretty much everything that you need to, to get ready to do bone mass. You're going to sail up here to get this trader location, and then you're going to unlock bone mass right there. So I think your your early to mid game play is going to be pretty pretty good um, because you know that if you go diagonally up here you've got motor bone mass and motor are mid game but I think this is a pretty solid location for the trader and the bone mass but let's take a look at some of the tombs and crypts to make sure that we've got solid biomes because that's one of the things that we're looking for right. This is a solid elder. You've got plenty of um, crypts here. You've got plenty of crypts up here. I don't know which one of the maypoles you're going to build at. I, I kind of like this one right here. Um, although it's not close to the water, it's not bad. Um, you've got plenty of black uh, black forest crypts on your starter on your starter continent. That's fine. When you come up here to the bone mass, you've got plenty of sunken crypts by this bone mass. That's what we want to see. This is this is a good bone mass down here as well. So we're, we're in pretty good shape here for tombs and crypts. Let's take a look at the frost caves, because ideally what we want to see is a bunch of frost caves by this motor, right? And, and real quickly, this bone mass up here just has one. It's not super attractive. Um, you can do that one. I like this one over here. Frost caves. Uh, a decent amount. You know, the good news is, is you've got... Um, black forest here to get you into the to this location so you, you know you've got that should be enough i don't know if how much you're crafting out of the mountains i know i mine a lot of silver but you've got um you don't really have anything on your starter continent you've got a little you've got some over here though if you really really want to to just farm up uh frost caves but 
this motor that's decent now let's make sure that that motor has some dragon eggs and it does it's stacked so what do we come away with for the mid game we've got a really good bone mass location with plenty of sunken crypts we've got a really good motor location with plenty of frost caves and plenty of dragon eggs um not too shabby and it's not like these are hard to get to you can have to sail but this pretty open ocean here you should be able to navigate to these fine now the Yagloth and the Queen. Okay, let's let's focus on Yagloth. Now we've got this Yagloth here. That's probably going to be my play. How are we doing for totems? Okay. Um, ideally, what you want is is like like with the other bosses, you want the totems right by the bo the boss spawn, so you don't have to travel that far. However, we've got some totem. Uh, goblin camps on the coast here. That's actually not bad because real you need five of them to spawn Yagloth. You're going to be able to sail up the coast and grab these. You're already here for your bone mast. And remember your traders right there. Um, and so you can come up here to the coast, do some raids, come up here, do some raids right here, and then finish with this one. And then boom, there's your Yagloth. It's not bad. Let's take a look at the tar pit. Um, it's okay. You know, the tar pit gives you that resource that allows you to build that aesthetic build. I know a lot of people really like that, the dark, um, tiles, etc. Uh, so, you've got that. So, I think that the Yagloth is okay. Now, the Yagloth over here, if I recall, wasn't much better. So, the thing of it is here is we've established we're probably going to go north northeast, right? We're going to grab this motor. I mean this motor over here. We're going to grab this bone mass and we're going to grab this Yagloth. We're over here and we're not too far from our Maypole. The next logical choice for Queen is these two. Okay? This one's probably going to be better for you. Okay? This one's probably easier to get to, but that one's probably going to be the better play. So let's take a look at that. It's not great. You don't have a lot of resources by this queen up here. Now this one you do. Um, this one to the north is mediocre, but you've got plenty over here. Um, that's end game right now, so you're probably going to be spending a lot of time in the Mistlands anyways. But this one's probably the better play. This one's probably the easier one to get to. Um... Other than that, what else can I show you? Useful runes. Um, plenty of piggies around. I, again, with four maypoles, you're probably going to be using each one for a specific build location. You know, maybe one's a farm, maybe it's your, maybe another one's your industrial area, the other one's your sleep place. Um, you'll find plenty of boars. Um, beehives. There's plenty. Just, just. Stick to this main island for a while and you should be fine. Um, there's not a whole lot to elaborate here on this seed. I think it's pretty good. I'm going to give this one a 9 because it's got really it's got four maypoles. None of the maypoles are extraordinary, though. However, the boss locations are pretty solid. Those biomes are pretty good. Not thrilled with the queen, though. That, that one's a problem. And Yagloth would be a little bit better if it had some totems closer to it. But your early game is really solid. Um, your mid game is pretty good. You're going to have to get in a boat, but you're a Viking. You should. And you've got a decent trader located by one of the bosses that you're going to farm up anyways. So that's solid. Um, definitely a 9 seed here. Um, I don't know that I would play it because it doesn't have a maypole on the ocean. But again, if you've got a group of buddies that are playing, maybe you're running a server um, where you're inviting people via Discord, this would be a good like place, a good server to mod up, to build up, etc. I think this is pretty good. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, I've been very, very fortunate the last couple of weeks to, f to come across, via tips from other people, uh, two seeds with four maypoles on them. That's really rare, folks. So, just a reminder, if you ever want me to do a deep dive on a seed discovery that you found that I haven't done yet, let me know. You can find my email in the About section of my YouTube channel. 
uh, send me a, a Gmail, put in it seed discovery in the title, and make sure you give me the seed ID. And, and it should have a maypole, or it should be something really unique, like Yakloth is in the middle of the ocean, or something really unique. Like, don't just send me regular seeds, because I won't do those, you know. But if you've got, like, a, 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 a village with two maypoles in it, yeah, definitely let me know. I'll do a, do a deep dive on it, and we'll let the channel know and get their feedback. Anyways, I really appreciate you taking your time to watch my content, as always. Thank you so much. Please remember to like, subscribe, share. All that stuff really helps the channel out. I appreciate the support, and I'll talk to you again soon.